This is a tooltip. You see, I hover over this image and then that little bubble pops up there, giving us her name, Alicia Silverstone. And then for this one, you can even see you can put an image in there. Actually, it's not an image. It's a background image to the tooltip, but it can be done. Let's see how you work with tooltips or advanced tooltips in Happy Add-ons for Elementor. The first thing you will need to do within your dashboard is to go to the navigation pane on the left, go to Happy Add-ons features and ensure that it is activated. This is a free add-on from Happy Add-ons. So you can use it with the free add-on from Happy Add-ons and you can use it in Elementor Free and Pro. Here you see Happy Tooltip, make sure it's activated, then click on Save Changes. From here, let's hop on to our site. Let's use a different page. I'll go to About Us. And then let's see, let's add some tooltips over here. This is where we could use it. And you can see actually I started playing around with one over here for Melissa Peterson. So many Melissas in the world. Edit with Elementor, and then we make magic happen. I believe the tooltip can almost be added anywhere. Let's see what we've got here. If we click on this, we've got an icon box, and then you go to Advanced, and over here you will see Happy Tooltip. Let's find a different widget. What is this here? It's a heading. Advanced, Happy Tooltip. Naturally, you're probably only going to add it to something like an image, like I've done here, though you cannot see anything yet in it. Click on the image, then go to Advanced, and you see Happy Tooltip. I've enabled it previously, but by default, it will be disabled. So when you go here, toggle it on, and the magic starts happening. You have your content, so what we'll do is we'll add here her name, Melissa Peterson, and you can add some more text in there if you want to do that, as well as the supported HTML tags that you can do like text break, bold, etc. Styles allows you to set the style of this tooltip. If I make it a little bit wider, or if I want to make it a little bit narrower, make sure it fits your text well. And then you have control over that arrow, the little down pointing arrow. And the topography is set over here. You can change the background color, right? There you see, nicely, Melissa Peterson has changed. You can change the text color and all the normal settings that you have there. Now, the other thing is that instead of having text, you can put an image for the background. To do that, you have to go back to settings and make a few changes here. Let's just look at the positioning. You have top and then you have bottom. There you see it at the bottom and then left and right. Let's just check one more to the left and then right, of course, will be right. Let's put it back to the top and then animation, all the usual suspects. Well, not all of them, only a few of them. You have zoom in, zoom and another one. Let's try and slide in left. Hello, there we go. And then animation duration. I think fade in. It was on bounce. I actually liked bounce. Very nice for this one. Doom, doom. I can just hear the Netflix intro. Doom, doom. Right, so here we go, arrow. And this is where the background comes into play. Currently, you see this little thing here at the bottom. That is the arrow. I can disable it. And the moment you disable it, you go back to styles and background type will appear here. Now you don't only have the color, you have the classic with an image that you can add there and you can even do a gradient. Some reason this only works when you have disabled that arrow. I think the coding that goes into that scared a few of the developers. No, oh, we're not touching it in 2021. It's already a tough year. Let's do it next year. You know, I'm not going to be that guy that just shows you how to do it. Let's put in an image over there. What's here in the media library? Okay, let's add this. Here, I couldn't really get it to show the way I wanted it to show. And what I figured out is that you had to bring in padding. You see here at the bottom padding, it's probably going to show nothing in there. What I did is delink it 
and then type in a value let's put in there like 100 pixels for the top and there you see the image now popping up it also has border radius if you want more border radius control over here let's just give it a random number like 90. you see you can achieve that can you put text inside it let's see let's put melissa's name there melissa what is her name peterson completely forgot oh yeah there it is at the bottom though and then you still have control over distance and distance is how far away the tooltip will appear from the widget it is attached to and then alignment to the left and that is the text you can see that text so in this case the image is definitely not going to work if you put it back to where did we go arrow enable the arrow again you lose the background functionality and now it just becomes a bubble with your text in there and now the text is aligned to the right so let's go down here and then we go back to styles i'll go to padding let me link it padding and delete it and then i think it should go back to automatic and we can also change the border radius put that to zero should be sharp and then go back to settings we have trigger is currently hover but you can also have click now the only problem that i have with the tooltip is it's hidden of course that's kind of the idea maybe freeing up some real estate or you want people to interact with that element on your page and have this tooltip pop up but think carefully about it you know recently i was speaking to an a very big company in the US, 70% of the e-commerce were done via a cell phone. And how often do you have hover with your finger over a touch screen? I know that technology exists. It's not there yet. So you kind of understand that the tool tip completely goes lost when we're working with a device like a mobile device. It just doesn't have the same impact. For desktop, yes, it works perfectly. But otherwise, for mobile, you run into the opportunity that the user may completely miss this tooltip because they just didn't engage properly on the mobile device with it. So I'm very hesitant in using the tooltip. I see application for it on a desktop completely. And most cases, I think tooltips are very useful when you get to a contact form. But most contact forms, you know, they build that kind of function into the form so that you have those little bubbles that appear and tell people here you fill in that here you put in that etc that's it tooltip free add-on for elementor you can get it from happy add-ons until next time stay safe and go well